Okay, so we have this IKEA high chair here, and I've seen some videos about how the tray is difficult to get off, but I want to show you how I could get it off without making a loud noise, and um, exactly why it's hard to get off, and the modifications you could do to make it better. So first I'm just going to show you why it's so hard, so if you look up under here, there's four tabs that are holding the tray, uh, snapping it into place. And the two in the middle are very easy to push. You can see they flex there quite easily. So if you want to go ahead and just kind of give those a few pushes, it'll kind of um, release some of the strength in the plastic and get, make it kind of easier to snap off. Now these outer ones have a rib on the back side, and they are extremely stiff and you can't necessarily push them at all really and that's what's making it so hard to get off so let me set it up and i'll show you how to get each side off okay so i've got it set up right here so the main thing while you're trying to pull the tray off is to keep the uh, high chair secure down you kind of just use your feet here on one side that i have now where i showed you the outer um, hook. You're going to pull that with your hand, with this hand to kind of relieve the stress as much as you can and lift up on this corner. So see, I've already got it off. Now sometimes if you pull hard enough, it could automatically pop this other side, but you might as well do one side and then come to the other side. So I'm pulling with this finger in a stiff rib and I'm pulling it up. Once you get those two on the outside off, uh, you basically pull the hard ones and it's done. Now I'll show you this side. So here's your ribs. If you want to make it easier in the future, you could take a pair of uh, snips and basically you could just cut that rib off, making it like these that are flexible. Or you could just cut one that off so that all you have to do in the future is pull one side off like I just showed you. Thank you.